God is not responsible for our misinterpretation of him. We're human beings trying to make sense of a divine, all-powerful being. We're going to get things wrong. Stage four was my dating relationship unraveling. I had met this guy in college um, my sophomore year, and we dated for two and a half years, almost three years. So I had graduated college. He lived out of state. We hardly ever got to see each other. Let me just say, long distance relationships, so hard to make that work. You set yourself up for disaster unless you are really, really solid in your foundation about who you are, who you are as a couple, who you are as individuals, and who you are before God. Um, the relationship was a huge contributor to the state of my mental health. And so eventually I felt like I was forced to pick between God's plan for my life, God's pick for me, for my, God's pick of spouse for me, or my mental health. And ultimately, I, I chose my mental health. Again, I, I hate to reiterate, but it seems, again, there's a process here. She went to college, she got exposed to new ideas, which again, is a good thing. You know, it's good to, to hear other perspectives. It grows you as a person. I affirm that. Then she has bad thing one, she goes to Cambodia and sees this horrible tragedy and how can God be real if this tragedy happened. Uh, then bad thing two is a job that didn't work out the way she planned. Now bad thing three, a relationship that doesn't work out. A relationship that she was convinced was the right thing doesn't work out. Again, I can't help but stress the importance and significance of the, the fact that God is not responsible or beholden to our misinterpretations of his will and his plan. Joel who's on the podcast often, he's here at Not Gospel Studios, uh, he went through a, a bout with depression and suicide and things of that nature. I'm sure he didn't see that it was a good thing, but now he has a testimony, he has a ministry where so many people who have gone through the same thing, struggled with the same struggles, come to him. They've seen his movie that he's made, Rock for Jesus. They listen to his songs that he's done, and he has this incredible story, this beautiful story of redemption and rebuilding and recentering on God that has gotten so many people, pulled them out of the darkest circumstances and situations. He would never have expected that, I don't think, when he was in the middle of this real significant ordeal. 